Welcome, my friends. I would ask you to take a nice breath in and an easy sigh. Ah, eyes opening. Welcome. Welcome back. My name is Drake and this is Touching the Edge. And this is the 40-day practice of having more of a yes, committing to building more of a yes for your life and, and, and having a yes for the entirety of it. You know, of course, we're not going to like all everything that's going to be happening, but we, we built this yes even then, even still, building throughout the entire 40-day practice, the entire 40-day process. We, in, in doing this, we have to have a commitment to thriving regardless of how things are going. No matter what's happening in the world, no matter what's coming at us, we have to have a focus intention to thrive in the midst of that. Focusing in an area that we have some area of control. And in doing that, to me, one of the things that I think is of primary importance is to build passion into your life. Really having a passion having something that you really get juiced about. You know, it can be lots of different areas. And this 40-day practice is about building a, a progression and improvement in that area of passion. You could have one area that you're really committed to making a difference in, you know, changing your finances or, or working with your diet. You can focus in in exercise or, you know, focusing in lots of little little tiny areas, you know, just making the commitment to getting to where you need to be 15 minutes earlier. Even that as a concerted, focused way will change your life. But we can actually build practice of developing passion. So I want to share with you my coaching model. And so my coaching model, you know, to me, it's important to, as a, as a metaphor, we want to build a house to live in. In this house, we need to have a strong structure built on a, on a solid foundation. And that foundation is really twofold, depending on how you look at it, either awareness or passion. In our conversation today, let's focus in passion. The foundation of the home is passion. And so we need to make sure that we are aware that we need to create a passion to thrive, to, to, to get better. And in that house, we're going to have three rooms. Each of these three rooms is of vital importance. One is to develop a passion for your passion. That is what's happening in one of those rooms. You build a passion for what you're passionate about. It could be anything. It could be, you know, Star Wars or knitting, or it could be studying spirituality, but you build a passion for that. You stimulate interest you know, by focusing more consistently in that area of passion. Second room is developing a passion for service. Developing a passion for service, service in the community, you know, uh, finding ways of being positively uh, politically active, you know, uh, possibly giving to charities that really have uh, interest to you, working for elements of social justice, and not just in my mind in your own group, but working and connecting with other groups as well. You know, that even not, not focusing in your group, but going beyond your group. But, you know, focusing in service can go way, well beyond that. You could have a knitting circle that you, you know, get together. Even in that, that is focusing in service. Of course, serving your family. That's part, you know, developing a passion for serving for your family, you know, uh, saying yes to serving your family, you know, not doing it begrudgingly or in an irritated way, but really, you know, sending love and radiating love to the ways that you serve your family. Now, the third one is the, uh, is the passion for um, being creative. So a passion for creativity. So wherever you feel that creative surge, you know, um, you, you know, and and really working diligently in that area of, of of service of creativity, and 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 by the way, you know, in terms of this creativity, we want to understand that as we go far enough back in creativity, passion for creativity has to have two basic elements: developing a passion to calm and soothe your nervous system. 
and to develop a passion for focusing in manifestation practice, which is the creative. Calming and soothing your nervous system will get you clued in to what you really value, and what you really value will find its way through expressing itself. Expressing itself through creativity, through positive visualization, through um, means of really stimulating a creative output. So those are the three rooms. Passion for your passion, passion for service, and a passion to be creative. Now the roof is kindness. We wanna have a roof that we build of kindness. Kindness is deep listening. Deep listening to your own intuition, but also deep listening to those around you, even people you don't agree with. This passion for kindness, this roof that covers the entire house is crucial because kindness tempers passion. Passion can become greed if not tempered with kindness. So that's the model. Just sit down with it. Work with it. Work with each of the rooms. Brainstorm. What am I passionate about? What, are, what, are, what is it that I really, really get excited about? You know, you can even go back to childhood to kind of think about it. Really jot down notes about each area. How can I be of service? Where can I stimulate that passion? How can I stimulate the passion of creativity? Working with calming and soothing, but also working in visualizing positive, passionate outcomes. Hey, your life is going to be a heck of a lot more fun if you're passionate. So I'm going to ring the bell. Thank you for listening. I know that was long. I appreciate it. Here we go. You know, what's great about each of those rooms is that as you stimulate the energy of each one, they flow into each other. As you stimulate the, the, the passion for creativity, it's going to stimulate the passion for what you're passionate about. When you stimulate the passion for what you're passionate about, you're going to want to come into service. And those things come around all the way around. Service becomes creative. They all work together. So let's do it. Let's thrive together. I bring my hands into prayer position and bow to you. Namaste. Thank you.